How are you grade 6 learners? We are still in 4th quarter and this is week 5 problem solving involving data in a pie graph. After going through this lesson, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a pie graph. Hello, last time we learned about constructing a pie graph. For this lesson, we learn how to solve the routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a pie graph. Let us study the pie graph below using the data presented. Mr. Reyes, a school principal, conducted a survey on where pupils would most like to go on a field trip. The choices he gave them were Museo Pambata, National Museum, Oceanarium, Science Centrum, and Abilun Zoo. All 360 pupils cast one vote each. Using this table, the destinations are Abelon Zoo, Ocenarium, Science Centrum, Museo Pambata, National Museum. Number of pupils in Abelon Zoo, 90. Ocenarium, 180. Science Centrum, 36. 45 for Museo Pambata and National Museum 9. The total of 360. Angle Sector How to get Angle Sector? Frequency of data divided by total frequency times 100. Example for a Zoo. So 90 pupils divided by 360 number of pupils times 100 equals 25%. So for a balloon zoo, one-fourth or 25%. For a scenario, 180 divided by 360 times 100 equals 50% or 1 half. For a scenario, 1 tenth or 10%. For Museo Pambata, 45 divided by 360 times 100 and that is 1 eighth or 12.5%. For National Museum, 9 divided by 360 times 100 and that is 1 over 40 or 2.5% with a total of 100%. Now, let us answer some questions. Number 1. Which field trip destination got the highest percentage of votes? The answer is Ocenarium got the highest percentage vote, which is 50% of the total pupils based on the data presented. Number 2. What percentage of pupils favor a Zoo? To calculate the percentage, one-fourth of 100%. So, one-fourth times 100% and that is 25% or 90 pupils divided by 360 pupils and that is 25% too. Number 3. 
How many times as many pupils like to go to Oceanarium compared to those who like to go to Avilon Zoo? Here's the answer. Get both data of pupils favored to go to Oceanarium and that is one half. And pupils like to go to Avilon Zoo and that is one fourth. Therefore, one half divided by one fourth or one half times four over one and that is two. Or 180 pupils divided by 90 pupils equals two. Twice the number of pupils like to go to Oceanarium compare the Abilon Zoo. Number 4. What percentage of the pupil survey wants to go to Science Centrum? Answer. One tenth of 100%. Or one tenth times 100%. And that is 10%. Or 36 pupils divided by 360 pupils and that is 10 percent 10 percent of pupils wanted to go to science centrum for learning task one answer its question based on the pie graph the title of the pie graph total profit earned in sale Number 1. Which item gave the store about one-fourth of its profit? So the answer is pots and pans. Almost close to 25% and this is 22%. Number 2. If the profits from eating and cooking utensils were combined, would it be exceeding the profit earned from plates? So for eating utensils, 10%. Cooking utensils, 14%. Total, 24%. So the plates is 38%. Therefore, the answer is no. 3. Which two kinds of items gave the store half of its total profit? Glasses, 12%. Plates, 38%. If you combine, 50%. Number 4. If the total profit earned was 45,000 pesos, how much profit was earned from pots and pans? So multiply 45,000 pesos times 22% or 2,200. So the answer is 9,900 pesos. Number 5. Which three categories gave a combined profit that is the same as the earned from the plates? Those are glasses, 12%, pots and pans, 22%, and others, 4%, with a total of 38%, same as plates. In your learning task 2, the graph shows the number of students per grade level enrolled in an art class during summer. First question, which grade level had the greatest number of enrollees? What percent of the art class is this number? So the answer is grade 6. 11 over 20 and that is 55%.
Number two, if there were 20 enrollees, how many grade 4 students enrolled during summer? So grade 4, 1 tenth, 1 tenth of 20 enrollees. And that is 2. So the answer is 2. Number 3. What percent of the enrollees are not grade 6? 20 over 20, that is the whole of class enrolled in an art class. Minus grade 6, which is 11 over 20, the answer is 9 over 20. 9 over 20, those are not grade 6 students. To get the percent, just divide 9 divided by 20. Can you answer number 4? Which two grade levels comprise one-fourth of the total number of enrollees? For number 5, suppose there is an additional grade 6 students enrolled in the class. What will happen to its sector in the graph? What will happen to the sectors for other grade levels? For your learning task 3, a school organized a pair through which it collected a sum of 5,880 pesos, where games collected one-fourth of the total amount. The pie graph shows the amount of money collected by different stalls. Find the sum of money collected by the games stall. So, one part of 5,880 pesos and that is 1,470 pesos. Number 2. What percentage of the total money was collected by the souvenir stall? Remember, in games, that is 1,470 pesos. So, games, food, and drinks. In games, 1,470 pesos plus food, 2,352 pesos plus drinks, 882 pesos with a total of 4,704 pesos. Then, 5,880 pesos minus 4,704 pesos and that is 1,176 pesos. Then 1,176 pesos divided by 8,880 pesos times 100. The answer is 20%. Number 3. What fraction of the total money was collected by the food stall? So, food stall, 2,352 pesos divided by 5,880 pesos, that is 0 0.4. In fraction, that is 4 tenths. And the lowest term is 2 pips. Try to answer number 4. What fraction of the total money collected by the drink stall? And number 5. What percentage of the total money was collected by the food and drink stall together? Learning task 4. Every day, Susie's Bake Shop makes five kinds of cookies. The graph below shows the number of each kind of cookies made out of 100 cookies. Answer its problem based on the graph. Number 1. Which two kinds of cookies 
make up of 50% of all the cookies. Then explain your answer. Number 2. Suppose the bake shop will make 500 cookies using the given ratio for the 5 kinds of cookies, how many chocolate chips will the bake shop make? Okay, the first ratio, 35 is to 100. And the second ratio is, blank is to 500. Number 3. One day, the bake shop decides to make almond cookies and vanilla cookies instead of sugar cookies. If the number of almond cookies and number of vanilla cookies are the same, what percent of all the cookies are vanilla cookies? So, since sugar cookies 22, so divided by 2, that is 11 over 100. And that is 11 percent. Maraming salamat muli sa pagsaba nyo sa atin sa ating video. Kung nagustuhan nyo ang ating video, please like and subscribe at pindutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bago pang darating na videos. Pwede kayo mag-comment at syempre, please share this to your classmates. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!